Yes, boy, oh, you messed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving Mick Cunt. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Yeah, keep on talking there, Irish. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black. Yeah. What's up, boys? <gasps> Fuck off, boy, oh. This don't concern you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boyo. Look here. This petty bastard stole our guns. Tried to steal our horses. Law's clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boyo? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boy -o. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. Who the hell invited you to the park? <laughs> A Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life... Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Uh, untrustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. Uh, what about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. Alrighty, my guardian angel, this way. This is turning into a hell of a day. What's your name, friend? John. John Marston. Stroke of luck you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was me only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Thick as thieves ever since, and that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman, me pa always told me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The kind of fellows who will steal an acorn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. Not for now. The thieving bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You'd best not be lying to me. Listen, fella, I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish, I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. You can make quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that shack. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me.
this a fair fight? Come on, mister! You ready for your daily, lad? You plan to put you there, mister? Oh. Bad news, sir. You go to the time start. Oh! My apologies, mister. It's not here. That lion sack of shit! If it ain't me, it's someone else. Who do you hunt? I, I see you. Get away from me. Right here. Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. I, I found you one. Found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there. And who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? Uh, no, friend. I wants to buy you a drink. I, I wants to tell you how much she means to me, how special she is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. <laughs> Uh, it gives me the memory of a newborn babe, as innocent as can be. And it makes me violently angry. Shall we go look for that gun, sir? <laughs> yes. Let's do that. Uh. Not a feller to give up easily, are you? Lily of the West. You're not gonna pass out on me, are you, Irish? <laughs> me? No, I'm right as rain. <laughs> or at least somewhere stuck between fair and meddling. Well, 
You're gonna be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. It weren't like that at all, fella. Me intentions were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just gets a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus! You're an impatient bastard, aren't you? Where's the gun, Irish? I hear some miners been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Breach. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose? Or sell it? I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your games. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. Maybe if you was more cordial with folks, they might be better inclined to help you. I saved your life and you repaid me by lying, nearly getting me killed. Not far now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gap Tooth so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always fighty bastards. Spend too long without daylight and doxies and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. Only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? You two-faced little bastard. Here we are. Let's stop here a moment to get a lie of the land. The entrance is plain to see, and there's a shaft them bastards use to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with me sinuses. I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft, and Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. You're trespassing. State your business or move along. Open fire! Can I have this?
Making a big mistake, friend! Rest in peace, my friend.
I hope you got money for a funeral! This ain't nice. I know. I do so wish to treat you gentlemen like. What the hell? Guess the West still is one. Someone else. your carps being hauled up this lift. 
Load up and I'll engage the gears. There she is. What a beautiful weapon. God's own gun. Ain't that the truth? I got us a borrowed flat to park down below. Don't let go of her. She's a beast. Giddy up. I'll drop a hundred fools like you! now and we'll have this executive peacemaker delivered to old west dickens just make sure it doesn't fall off on the way Sister, put them up. Irish, what are you doing? Who the hell are you? Give me that. I'm your old friend, Amnesia. Oh, good. Oh, blimey. But I've come to tell you, if you ever pretend to forget my name or your debt to me again, I'll make sure you reach heaven before these two ladies. Now get down there. Oh, oh. oh Mr. Marston. How are you? Ashamed. Ashamed to know you. What the hell's wrong with you, robbing these gentlewomen and ladies of the Lord? I thought they was doxies. Oh. Ladies, I'm sorry about this man. He's unfortunately lost his mind to the demon drink. At least I hope he has, and he wasn't this stupid all along. So, uh, please excuse us. Now, Irish, that Gatlin gun doesn't work. I find that rather upsetting, don't you? Oh, heartbreaking. Which is why I was just coming to see you when the drink got the better of me. <laughs> ah. Come on. I know where we can find the parts for you. Ah. Mother fucking Mary. How about a drink or two, mister? Sorry, but I got a watch. What you looking at? What you looking at? Huh? I can't stand to see a man walk around with such a dry pecker. How oh, can I help? Drunk as I am, my pricks in fine working order. <laughs> what a lusty specimen you are. I like Good. that. That fresh air's got me head spinning like a top. Can't be good for a fella. Shut up, you lazy drunk, before I stop your head spinning with a bullet. I resent that, Johnny. I've been working like a beaver on your behalf. You've been working like a weasel on my behalf. Bushwhacking defenseless ladies of the cloth? You must have been raised on sour milk, Irish. What are you talking about? I'm a good Catholic boy. 
You're a booze blind coward. And you're a hypocrite, Marston. You've robbed just as many innocent folks as me. I tried to only rob those who had more than they deserve. Christ, the Even church friend, has more money than anybody. Feet. Yo, brain gone, boss. Where are we going, Irish? Ain't nobody that Just to the warehouse here in Thieves Landing. Friend, I'm telling you, Johnny boy, there, it's all set up. We're meeting this pal of mine at the back door of the office, hobble-tongued feller by the name of Shaky. And he's got the ammunition we need? Jesus, stop fretting, will you? I knows about guns front, back, and sideways. You're going to be real familiar with mine if things keep on this way. This is it. Come on, Smiler. <gasps> well, I'll be buggered. This door was supposed to be unlocked. Come on, let's see if we can get in around the back. I'm beginning to lose my patience. I'm starting to think you're soft on me, Johnny boy. Can't even sneeze these days without you being there to catch the drift. This is your last chance, you good-for-nothing shyster. You've already wasted too much of my time. Keep your eyes open. Shaky's all right, but I don't trust the gang of fools he runs with. Shaky's made the arrangements, and he'll... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Sounds like Shaky's only gone and got himself found out. <laughs> All right. Now all we have to do is find out who you work with. You hear me? Shaky, you wretched fucking son of a whore. Suck my again! <laughs> Oh! Uh, labor relations don't sound like they're exactly at an all-time high. You sneak in and get poor Shaky loose. I'll go get the wagon. Good luck, Marston. He's a good man, that Shaky. All right, work your usual magic. I'll go get the wagon ready. Shot!
these ropes off. I thank you for your kindness, Mister. I thought I was dead, man. My kindness is only as good as the bullets you can fetch up for me and your friend Irish. Let me down, and you'll be a dead man. This is gonna be one hell of a fight. Hello. All right, let, let, let's get out of here while we got the chance. No, no, you don't. I was gonna shoot you dead. Nobody puts their hands on sh 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 shaky. Come on, boy. Let's get the hell out of these towers. Come on, you bastards. Who's next? Let's head for, for the door. Follow me. Open the door! I got, got you covered! This one. Forgive me, friend. Now we're even. Half even, Shaky. You still owe me for them morphine pills to calm your nerves. Sh -sh 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 <laughs> you'll, you'll get your half more, you d d d dirty f -f 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 fucking snake. Uh, b -b 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 All right, gentlemen. <laughs> Let's go. Fucking. Fuck. Oh, my virgin ears. All right, hop on. I'll get this out of here. Did you have fun in there, you and Shaky? I killed a lot of men for this damn machine gun of yours. I'm sorry I missed all the dramas. You always miss all the drama. There must be cobwebs growing on that holster of yours. Someone's going to drive the wagon, don't they? Teamwork, Johnny boy. That's my game, not just the glory like you. Christ, mercy! 
like a bloody drove. Just drive, Irish. You're acting like a schoolgirl. Get that fella out the bridge. I don't know if I can take much more of this. They're shooting right at me. You're a real cold-blooded killer, Irish. Thanks for life. How many are there? Anytime you want to shoot somebody, Irish, please feel free. They're not giving up, are they? I'm telling you, Irish, that machine gun had better work after all this. Don't you worry. You won't find a finer piece of artillery west of Dublin. Well, I think you're ready for Fort Mercer. You got enough ammunition here to take down a small country, fella. I'm going to need it. Bill Williamson's got himself an army. So I guess this is where we part ways, Johnny Marston. Or maybe not, friend. You're going to be right alongside me when I take on that fort. After all you put me through, it's time you pull the damn trigger for once. Show me what a big, bad killer you really are. Uh, yes, of course. What am I thinking? Don't worry, you can count on me. I just hope I don't steal all your glory. Wouldn't be right or proper. Impressive, Marston. We'll have West Dickens's wagon rigged and ready to go soon enough. Not quite. Not quite ready. You see, I wasted a bunch of time looking for that last bit of map. And I got to thinking, Moses was a liar. And I imagined myself doing all kinds of unpleasant things to his corpse. <laughs> and then I realized... You realized you were sick in the head? That you needed to move on with your own limited time on Earth? No, partner. I realized... Moses were no liar. The issue was Aiden O'Leary, who said he had the body. Aiden died in that flu epidemic, and the bodies weren't even buried yet. <laughs> Got the body sitting in the back of that wagon behind you? Yes, sir. <laughs> You're not even going to wait until they're buried before you... <laughs> well, they don't care, do you, boys? Honest folk, off to a better place. Apart from that Aiden O'Leary fella, I never liked him. They say he lay with his sister. I don't like women, partner. I don't. Not since Mammy died. Seth, what are you going to do with those bodies? I'm going to take them back to a nice quiet spot and look for the map. I need the map, partner. I need it. I think we should be getting out of here, partner. All right. I know a secluded spot where we can search these sleeping beauties. Keep to the left. We don't want to roll through town with these bodies. By the way, I saw West Dickens. He told me there's no ammunition in that machine gun of yours. Sounds like I need to pay Irish another visit. Where are you? 
Come on, don't be shy. What did you say? I didn't say nothing. Are you talking to them? So what if I am? I feel less alone with them than in a crowd of people. The way I see it, they lost their souls, just like me. You're truly a sick man, Seth. You remind me of why I hate people. For a man who kills so much, you sure seem to have a problem with the dead. But I've killed everyone in the end. <laughs> they ain't so different from you and me. Aside from them being dead and rotting, I guess they ain't. All right, Seth. Calm down. You talk to the corpses and I'll drive the wagon. Oh, my! It's them damn treasure hunters! Try to outrun them! these bodies as we go! Will you be my friends? No need for money where you're going, friend. So, I guess this is goodbye. Are you hiding something from Seth? Oh, you naughty little boy! I'll be over soon. Yeah! This fella had a few bucks on him. Head left at this turn! Come on now. Play nice, my lovely. This won't take long. Ain't you a handsome fella. No need for money where you're going, friend. Go left up here! Thanks, partner! Be seeing you very soon! We're sitting ducks! Let's go! Work them horses! You're gonna leave this in a box! We gotta go faster, partner! Come on, let's get this wagon moving! Yes! Here it is! I've got the map, mister! I got it! I got it! Can't you go any faster? Looks like the treasure's in Tumbleweed. That's where I was headed. It's fate. Keep going. We're almost there. See? We're one big happy family. I reckon I'll sit here a while trying to figure this out. I'm gonna be rich. When you're done with that, get over to Fort Mercer. I need you inside that place. After I find my treasure, mister.